to the Walker West Without Walls music series, Music and Me. My name is Anaya, and I'm your host. Every episode, we will be talking about different forms of music and meeting an artist who performs that music. This episode, we will be talking about gospel, which happens to be the type of music I listen to most, so I'm really excited. But before we meet our first musician, let's take a moment to center ourselves in a segment I like to call Soul Session. friends today we're going to be doing our soul sessions on gospel and today's soul sessions is going to be on gratitude gospel music is such a soothing thing for our souls and it helps lift us up when we're feeling down and you know what else does that too gratitude and a lot of gospel music has gratitude in it so today we're going to talk about gratitude now, before we start, I want us to take three nice, big, deep breaths. We're gonna all do it together. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So we're gonna do it together. We're gonna breathe in into our bellies, breathe in through our nose, breathe out through our mouth, and keep your eyes open, keep your eyes closed, whatever you wanna do, all right? So let's take a nice, big, deep breath into our belly. Ready? And then out through your mouth. That's one. Here's another one. That's two. Here's our last one. Good job, good job. Do you feel like you just gave yourself a little hug on the inside? All right. Now, I have four things that I picked out that I thought we could do together to say out loud that we're grateful for. So why don't, you, why don't we do it together, okay? We'll start with the first one. The first one is I am grateful for music that I can express my feelings. Can you say that with me? I am grateful for music that I can express my feelings. Good job. Here's our second one. I am grateful for friends and family and teachers that care about me. You try. I am grateful for friends, family, and teachers that care about me. Good. Now our third one, I am grateful for my health. I am grateful for my health. Okay, our last one has to do with where we're sitting today, and here it is. I am grateful for a school that I can learn and grow in as a scholar. Go for it. I am grateful for a school that I can learn and grow in as a scholar. Good job. Now, do you feel how your insides feel a little bit lighter and brighter and more joyful? That's the effect that gospel music has on us. So I want you to think up three or four gratitudes that you can say, and that you can think about your own life and your own experience. So think about that, and then you can tell a teacher or a friend or a parent or a loved one what you are grateful for. Have a great day. Welcome back. Today I'm here with an amazingly gifted drummer who actually uses his God-given talent to share the gospel with everyone who hears him play. I just met him and he already feels like family. So let's meet him. Please tell us your name and what you do. My name is L.A. Buckner. Uh, L.A. stands for, for Little Arthur. My dad is Big Art, so I'm Little Art. Um, I'm L.A. Buckner, and I'm, I'm a teaching artist. I'm a musician, a drummer, and I teach drums. I teach music. I teach people how to be in bands. I just want to ask about these drums. Can, do they have names? Yes, yes. There's different types of drums. This is a full drum kit, okay? This is a drum, a drum set or drum kit, and the, uh, the pieces of the kit. This is, is a bass drum, right? But the nick, nickname for the drum is the kick, okay? Because you play it with your foot. So it's the kick drum, right? Okay. okay. This drum right here, this is called the snare drum. This is probably one of the most popular drums in the kit. You probably play this drum the most out of any drum on the kit, okay? These three drums, these are called 
tom toms, right? You got the rack toms because they're on this rack system. And you got the floor tom, right? The nickname is just toms, all right? You know what these are called, right? These are called cymbals, right? Cymbals. And there's different types of cymbals. This is the crash cymbal because when you hit it, it sounds like, whoa, right? 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 It's a crash cymbal. This is a ride cymbal, a ride, because you just, you ride on it. You ride the cymbal. Um, that's the ride cymbal. These are two cymbals put together. They're called, they have a funny name. They're called the hi-hats, okay? The hi-hats. The hi-hats, and you can play them. Play it with your foot too, all right? So these are symbols. Okay, what is this called? Bass. Nickname is the kick. Yep. What are these? Toms. Yep. What is this called? A snare. Yep. And these are called the symbols. Symbols. What kind of symbol is this? The ride. A ride symbol, yes. What kind of symbol is this? Crash. The crash <laughs> symbol, okay? <laughs> and these are the high hats. The high hats, yeah, like high dash hats, the hi-hats, hi-hats. So yeah, that, these pieces make up a basic drum kit, a drum set, yeah. What is it about being a musician and drumming that inspires you? I was born with a love of the drums. Um, I feel like I didn't choose the drums, but the drums chose me. I'll be in church and I'll just be staring at the drums, just staring. Nobody was even playing the drums. I'd be just staring at them. And when somebody's playing, I just, I, my mom said, I've been drumming since I was in the womb. Since I was a, before I was even born, I was drumming. I was wild, you know what I'm saying? So um, I've always been just in love with the drums. I'm inspired by my young friends, the little homies who I see playing, and they're creating new ways to play the drums. They're creating new ways to move around and hit the drums. And like, that's, that inspires me to get better. And I, I study them and I steal their moves. And I try to do it myself and incorporate it to what I already know how to do. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what inspires me to play is, is the youth who, who do what I do. What do you want us kids to know about gospel and drumming? I want the youth to know, I want students to know that music is powerful, okay? It affects our thoughts, it affects our behavior, okay? Uh, the lyrics that we listen to or the lyrics that we repeat to ourselves without us really even thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? The, the lyrics that we hear or the words or the music that we hear, it affects us on the inside. It affects our brains and our thoughts and our speech. I want students to be balanced in what they listen to, okay? Um, because music has an effect on us. So we can't listen to too much negative music. We gotta listen to a lot of positive music. We gotta listen to some instrumental music. We gotta listen to some singing music. We gotta listen to some rapping music. We gotta listen to all kinds of stuff. Be balanced in what you listen to. Find something that you like in, in every, every music you hear. Like classical music sometimes, I'll be like, eh, sleep, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but I appreciate classical musicians because they're so skilled. You know, they're so technically, they, they really got it going on when it comes to playing their instrument. Um, so find something to appreciate and be balanced as a consumer of music, as a listener of music. You should be balanced. That's what I wanna teach. That's what I wanna share with students.
Thank you so much for learning about gossip with me. I think today's show is fire. What about you? See you in episode two.